Let's like go. He's bringing out the Olaf. He's bringing out the I like the Shivana. I like the Shivana. Shivana man. Wow, and we instantly look at Ivan. Now it's Kanan's band. We first be by. Let's see here if they want a counter pick support because they see everything, right? Yeah, it makes sense to be support here. Leona, one of the best supports with Iron. Because Leona is very, very naturally tanky. And now we have Leona Iron. I think you ban mages here. I think you're fly because you should ban Oriana. Adi ban is okay because you have Vi, but I would I would still argue that either you pick Oriana away or you ban it. So I would not be surprised if we have an Oriana ban into Leona pick. If not, maybe a Syndra potentially on 4 as well. So like like I said, before is being Renekton on 4 if it's not banned. But Renekton is banned, so he's not doing that. Gosh, chat, stop trolling. God damn it, guys. Listen to me, please. And they're banning out the I think it could be Cassandra on four, which is also banned. Of these picks for both both so I think you just pick Nar, no? We'll be curious to see Don't you just pick Nar or Yone? I feel like you picked Nar or Yone. Okay, you just take away the Oriana. That's okay too. That's something I mentioned as well. If there's no Oriana ban, I think picking away Oriana means. I don't think Gigabyte Marines can pick Yone. It's really bad. So I feel like Kiaya might pick the Nar. Nar and what? Syndra? Nar Syndra? Akali! Okay! I mean, blind picking Camille is not that bad when Akali, Renekton, and Jax are out of the game. But I do think you can maybe get like Cannon or so. Yeah, I think Nar maybe is safer. Why does Beepo play? What's the chance Beepo plays Vayne? Zero percent, no? Like, no way, guys. No way. I will Omega get back. If Beepo locks in Vayne, I think I will get back shots. Yeah, of course not. I don't think many players in Vietnam play Ivan. So they might not be used to it. Is a game time or fly time you know, Vi should literally go shield breaker, no cope. And as you said before, Gam have built a comp that wants to send it and yeah. try and send it on top of Masu. I think, I will say is I their think, engage needs to be perfect because I failure think, engage against Ivern and redemption comes down. Actually, no, they cannot lace. I was thinking if Gam can lane swap. Is, is interrupting you and all these that is so cool, it's insane. I think they cannot the kill the Scion, so absolutely so not. I think the Scion is going to be completely unkillable most of the time. Oh my god, they are lane swapping. So they are lane swapping because Scion is so being lane swap that he's impossible to dive. I mean, you can kill him once, but then he will still get the CS. Going to be sorely lacking in damage, whereas over on the other side, there's really four threats from Gam. You know, yeah, Nar is not a true. I mean, there's not the this, this Scion will be unkillable. Team, so, you know, it is kind of that high risk, high reward for FlyQuest. If you can perfectly protect those carries, if Busho yeah, shows, they will. They should really know well. that the enemy if team is lane swapping. Now, just an update on the other pick that should be highly contested here. Bro, 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 Elio should go deep into the enemy the jungle. Of Gam. Well, you can see his world appearance. This guy's got okay, so FlyQuest lane swapping. Championships again. I mean, on the Vi here, but this is this makes, makes sense that he they are lane well, swapping. It, it really does because I think if you play against a worse team, and if you lane swap and you don't even get them the chance to play so the game properly, so many people think back it's like so easy to win. Him playing like the Nocturne, the power farming Nocturne, and we all pull off these. We got to see to this world too, right? Exactly, like the surprise plays that he has been able to pull off. He has brought some incredible moments to worlds. This guy truly. Is world I mean, how does how does Gene deal so with people? So fun to watch. How, how does this the sign is never gonna die? Well. So, Flyquests are into lane swap here. Sign obviously very <laughs> adept at that. But okay, have HP. Damage, but uh, did start W. Gene did do some CS one, for so that. But soak that and wanted to walk forward to get the experience. It was not about farm. Uh, just wanted to make sure he was soaking enough experience because even if you wait, look at inspired, look at inspired. I think he's about to steal the blue from Levy. And we'll see if Busio is going to do the same thing. We've been yeah, he's about to stole the blue from Levy. Yep. And from HLE as well, where he gets level two and then bases the cover, but it doesn't look like he's going for it. So, uh, Gam, I think for sure, are going to inspired try to skills to protect people from the dive. Inspired to try to cover here with Levi waiting in the brush. Now, while I was wrong about the knockdown for Levi, of course, that was Audi on the other side. I might not be wrong about how well this dive goes. Okay, this is going to be a two big three dive. If Poppy hits E. I don't know if they have the damage. I think Vi level 2 is so useless. How do you dive this, guys? Okay, Jin is level 3 now, at least. Okay. Wait, Beepo didn't flash that? Okay, I think Beepo died on purpose to catch the wave, I guess. I think Beepo died on purpose to catch the wave. He's gonna TP bot 
insta. Like she got most of the wave, he's level 3. I feel like it would be better if he wouldn't die. I feel like if he would flash that team W would be much, much better. You can't do it again, so yeah. you know that is kind of that difficulty. Yeah, well, diving Sion is very hard, and exactly normally it's not like Sion is that great of a champion. Love. I don't think he is. Way less beneficial if it went to like you know the Poppy support or something like that. True, and uh, we'll see as Poppy's here. Yeah, they should be able to. Oh, quad! Nice. Okay. So quad is beating up ammo in the in the lane. Obviously, no team can really dive, right? It's not like FlyQuest can go top and dive. That's not gonna happen. There's two people there. They're holding the wave. Even without holding the wave, there's no way. No, you are gonna carry the game. You yep. need to be greedy. You need to play for yourself. Um, and so that is something that FlyQuest has really been working on and that Quad has really been working on is to try to really set himself up for success and not always feel like he needs to, you know, not call for resources. You know, and that's part of- Aatrox, kind of Aatrox is, is not good against Nar. And Aatrox is styles. really bad in lane swap. Aatrox is one of the worst champions uh, in lane swap. You know, He's the, really the easy to dive and really weird. And and that's yeah. why Aatrox is not played. These kind of memes. Terrible, terrible um, lane swap. But, you know, he is willing to play all of the styles. And I think that's what makes him such an impressive jungler. Is okay. This guy has won MVP in multiple leagues, and he really can play such a high level for pretty much every champion. And I mean, again, having so much versatility as a jungler is such a good thing here, especially heading towards... I mean, mid lane CS is even, which is fine. Like but as you can see, Sion is really ahead in CS of Nar and ahead of XP. Nar is about full level behind the Sion right now, I think. He's not gonna die, but he cannot see us really. And the wave is bouncing. Void Gravis are spawning in about one minute, and Flyquest could maybe look to secure them as well. I feel like Jin should just base and, and swap as well. This is not good for the gun. Gonna just hold this and make sure to keep denying as much as I feel like what Gam is good at is good at laning and good at taking fights, but I don't think they fully understand the lanes from that great, right? I mean, they actually dived well, it's just Sion. Oh my god, Gaia is just getting bullied. Oh, now is gonna be two levels behind to Sion. I'm not even joking. It's so over this game. It's this game. Is so jobber, guys. CS in this lane as well. Yeah. 400 gold lead while Kiyaya, as you said, constant pressure added there while he has to reset and go bot. Exactly. It's it's a smart play here from FlyQuest, just utilizing the sign, utilizing that passive, picking up as much farm as possible. As uh, Levi does get eyes on Inspired, but he'll just use the smite and then go back towards his Krug to pick that up and be able to. Okay, Nar is now matching bot lane, but he's still levels behind, literally. Nar is level 4, Sai is level 6. Jin is level 5, Kalista is level 5. And I think at this point, Flyquest is stronger because Kalista is still way stronger. This is all lost farm here, so Bipo even spending the ult. He has a 2 level advantage. I don't think he can kill even with this. I think Bipo can dive him, no? Kill Kiaya. He's just waiting for the cooldowns, and it's just such classic Sion play. The flash away is Bwipo just tries to survive. He's okay. Got no back well played by Kiaya flashing really away there. That was, that was, that was, that was well done. That was nicely done. He knows he has a level advantage. I was he wondering if people could just kill him with so W plus Alpha plus. Uh, like flash in, Auto W. I wonder if that would kill the, the Nar. But either way, I mean, yeah, Nar is not having the best game of his life. And they get Grabbies as well. Look at the CS in top lane department. 47 to 24. That was like very obvious lane swap though. I would have liked if Gambo just blind swap to kind of predict it. Can he even do it? Inspire is level 6 by the way. Levy is level 4. They need to do it very quickly and then they need to get out. Yeah, they will be able to secure it in time. That's the trade we're looking at for now. But we also know that there's two parts of the game. We've yeah, they got this, but they cannot get Sal really Scarlet well Cup. You think back to the TL game early. Their early I mean, so far, Flyquest is playing much, much better. Oh! Wait, I think Poppy's dead. There's not, not much counter play. Yep. Yep, guys. Yep. Yeah, great play there from Masu. And then Bipo is lane swapping ulti, instantly. And again, Jin cannot play into Sion. I really love how Bipo how FlyQuest is uh, playing up, around the Sion in lane swap. Sion is actually really great lane swap, so Chep. Easy Love does need to pay some respect. He's got the thumbs up. I'm waiting for it too. Bye-bye, Daisy. Bye-bye. Inspire just hovers over the bot wave. 
uh, Bwipo, I think we're mega close to that. And as you said, Easy Love has to back before he gets taken yeah. out. But their tempo is so bad because he, he, this team is better on paper, Tricus for sure. Has no TP, so but they they also when they have the Tricus playing much the game, better than Macro. They're the game understanding so and the champions they have for lane swaps are just so perfect. As you can see, Gam is chasing them all around the map, but they can't catch them because they'll always be behind in tempo because they are losing lanes. So Tricus always gets to push first and then base, and I mean they are just getting. Cooked. Not even nine minutes in. This is what I guess you know the best. I mean, look at the gold guys. Two K so in nine minutes. But when it exploits like Crazy. this, as Whippo looks for the decimating smash damage, you just see what a team that is experiencing this. I guess going up against TL yeah. has given them a lot of experience, especially in the domestic Oof. league. What this is not a can play the game with an early game that's exposed like this. Absolutely. I mean, we'll see if they. Can oh wait, 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 Sion. Oh wait, I think Sion used all that missed. Okay, I guess really, Nar will really get well some pressure now because Bipo misplayed. I'm pretty sure Bipo misplayed, no? Uh, and we'll see if they can kind of continue developing oh. with this. As Bipo obviously, eventually, you are going to be pretty far on the back foot oh. against this Nar. Bipo was right. Bro, Bipo was right about what? They are literally really playing as my Norwegian. Please. Yeah, just if Lyquist wins tomorrow against, I don't know, Hanwa, sure, Bipo was right. But don't don't tell me Bipo was right when they are playing against a my Norwegian. I love it, you know, the first Sion coming out here. Yeah, Bipo was right, guys. They are, they are beating the Vietnamese team. People were well, right. in fine form, as we talked about a little bit before. And bro is not taking any damage with the chain vest, with the Kindle gem already picked up. Things looking good here for the FlyQuest early game that we talked about. You mentioned 2K. I'm also looking at those grubs spawning in one minute and thinking, well, with that gold. There should be a draw after the last game, yes. Okay, Rina is good by Emo. There's a dissonance that comes through. Emo I'm impressed that the Kali just knows she doesn't again. die. Yeah, the I mean, new Magic Mouse is doing God's work. I mean, Quad is basically they are behind literally everywhere. Of his opponent, you know, without actually getting that kill. 25 CS behind Pope, 10 CS behind mid, 15 CS behind mid, and 15 CS but behind AD Carry. And behind in tempo. Guys, I think this is this might be one of the biggest stomps so far today. If they keep this up, they will completely stomp them. Setting himself up for success. He already has that early tier. He's stacking it up. You can see tier two boots kind of almost across the board here for FlyQuest. And the first item already done now for Bwipo. Very, very well played so far so by FlyQuest. FlyQuest I really like how they lose, the how they, really they are losing lanes well. off this game. Now that Busio has six, it does get a little bit scarier here if you do show up in a side lane because not only is there that long range engage, you know, throwing them in with that Callista ultimate, there's Leona ult, there's so much CC there to follow. You notice as well, teleport was burned by Kiai to move towards mid. That's because those grubs talking okay, about. Okay, so they will be able to secure at really least one grab. There's four after. people here. They're the only ones here. Wait, why does it? Whatever. They leave okay, Whippo on a side lane and inspired. Starts traveling down to see if there's anything. I don't think they can really dive with this Akali as two. I think Inspire is just looking for jungle camps. I feel like they should have fought this though. I don't know how much I like them not fighting this. I feel like they should be stronger to fight this. Uh, he's, you can tell he's a little bit nervous. Oh, is someone coming? So he's going to pull it back and make sure that he can secure this. Just, I think, was probably uh, waiting to make sure that there's no chance. Okay, so Gam sort of gets contest. four grabs. We, of course, know that Inspired I guess two was not there, but Inspired now and one Drake, but they are losing 2k gold. Starting to complete these items, they're not going to feel pressure with this. My prediction is that it's going to come down to team fights. And right now, in team fights, I really doubt that way. That they will win 5v5, but they do get spotted moving in here, and Levi's coming top lane, so. Wait, wait, they will walk into a trap. Wait, why is, why is, why is the Poppy not trying to eat the Kalista into the wall? Is she scared of a flash or what? I think they saw him. I think they saw him. Okay, now they see him. Definitely aware of the possibility, so Levi will get spotted. So the next question is, what happens with this dragon down bot? Because you can see that Inspired Yeah, Drake is, is up soon. Now that Inspired top, can take Drake, but it's going to take a while. Dive, uh, but they can, right? And try and I really it. doubt that Sion cares that he's Orders playing as Akali. He can push every single wall wave. Wall wave. Even hit Tawan in her face. Really happen, honestly, but at the same I don't know how much I like the lane assignments here. Kiai is trying to farm against Oriana, also losing. Okay, they swap back, they swap back. Not going both Akali going mid. But I think Flyco is just going to swap again. Again? Happy to just continue farming. I actually think Pygis is going to slap again, no? They're gonna keep playing towards that. Both no, they're opening both for now. Pygis is heavily playing for the prioritizing gold. There's no jungler here. You're not killing me 1v1. So, walks up, claims the plate. 
and they're just going to keep pushing towards these first item completions where they will feel very strong. You know, you can see item now done here for Quad. They're just mm -hmm. waiting on the Blade of the Rune King for Masu. And that's where I think we're going to see FlyQuest start to come alive a little bit more and start feeling confident that they can look towards some of these fights. But really, the pressure is way more on Gam when you're playing yep. this style of comp. Like, you're effectively four melee. Yeah, there's Mininar for range, but you're effectively four melee and full dive. Like, you need to make things happen way True. more, I think, than FlyQuest does. Two and a half so gold lead minute. currently. Uh, FlyQuest is still scaling game. very well. Like uh, who outscales this game? I do think Jean can be really strong this game, but he needs at least four items to be able to actually kill the Scion. So a, a this is really going to take a long time, especially when the Scion is accelerated. Oriana scales into, like, like a monster as well. I mean, Daisy, yeah, Daisy is almost dead, but... Wait, wait, wait. I don't think they can die Kiaia that that easy, but they should be able to. Okay, Kaya just minus one the minion. And minus one two minions. Some of the tricks you'll see both Ivern and Andy players do is you can actually walk the opposite way. You can also do a Shaco. I'm quite intrigued that FlyQuest is not taking any drakes. Is gonna move top side, just play for some camps, but Gam are coming, they want to fight. Wait, it's fired! Okay, redemption is very well. I don't think they can really kill his fire, I don't think he's gonna die. Busha has ult as well, so... Okay, so Inspire was forced to flash away here. Uh, okay, yeah, he don't ult, please. I'm wondering if they can do Herald out of it, but I think they don't have time, really. Inspire has no flash now. If they can catch the Ivan again, that would be really a big fight for them. Because Ivan is the one who has to die first. Just because of how much shield value he brings to the team right now. I think this Jin needs, this Jin needs four autos. Is getting I swear, this you need four autos to deal with W from Sion right now. Does yeah. not hurt tanks, and oh my he's god. Problematic. I mean, sure, like if you give tons and tons of time to Nar in a side lane, How I, like, what, what, what are you supposed like, to do as a team here? You win a team fight where Nar just sits there and, and autos Sion 300 times. True. So, Who's supposed to kill this guy, right? Like, he's going to be walking at Jin in almost every team fight, right. and Jin just kind of has to walk away. Yeah, I mean, no one really kills Sion. You have to go on the back line. You have to kill Oriana, you have to kill Akali, you have to kill Ivan, but you are not, absolutely not winning. Front to back. Wait, guys, Beepo just bought a pickaxe. Is he going Overlord's Blood Mail? What is that Beepo build? Sterak? Overlord's Blood Mail? Mavo Malmortius? So much free HP. He's definitely uh, buying AD though. That you were talking about. Um, and you can see, you know, the number below his, his flash TP. That's how much. Oh wow, Jin just so, like lost you know, going on 700 free health already. So uh, can definitely make him a threat. You know, even just with that one armor item and a ton of HP. It's tough to focus the fact that Oriana keeps so matching the Nar is damage, so good for FlyQuest because Nar cannot do anything to Oriana. Uh, he can jump into her, but then he's it, gonna die. There's really, really not much him. to be done. So then it becomes, yeah. okay, well, what now? Infinity Edge. Okay, I, I, I think so, but I think it's going I guys. Oh my god, people's going Infinity Edge on world stage, guys! Heard it here first. Moving around the map, chipping away at these advantages. It's not a lot of fighting, it's not a lot of kills, but it doesn't need to be. It's frustrating for Gam. Like, it doesn't need to be for Fly, but you can see Gam are getting edgy, and they're like, mm, we need to find a Okay, Gam is trying to no, make a fight, denied. but... Masu's nearby, Bupo's now moved into position as well. It's all around this Herald that's just sitting there, glancing an eye to see who starts it off, but Gam don't want but to... But hey, Masu has no, no cleanse. So I don't think it's that, it's that easy. Extensions here, as Fly still playing it so if they can so catch Masu so when he say, gets stunned into a wall and they cannot use, you know, he, he doesn't have cleanse, like, could be killable. I'm actually quite surprised that Master is not playing cleanse this game. I feel like cleanse makes him invincible in this game. Perfect execution on that dive. If you go into the back line, redemption comes down. The shield comes down from Ivern. Daisy's there peeling barrier. Bipo is literally just gonna go to Nar, push him off all the way to tier two tower, and then he's just gonna roam. Oh, it's Mountain Soul. Imagine Mountain Soul on the Scion. How do you actually kill him? How do you actually kill him, guys? Yeah, it is so frustrating. It's been a slow game. You guys sitting at home going, well, when the action gonna happen? But. You know, for Fly, they're picking up these one items, the two items coming across yeah. and starting mm -hmm. to build towards as well. They have the gold lead, they'll have the item advantage, they'll have the fight advantage here as Third Dragon comes up, and obviously that's going to be something they'll deny, but I think they'll be happy taking the fight at that point. God damn, anyway. yeah, exactly. 3.5k. Okay, is, 
Well, what can well, go to tower and has TP, really so if Gam overcommit as as to bot, Gam, Gam is really hard trying to get this bot tower, but I don't know if they are allowed to. Well, now there's a very because Oriana has TP. Yeah, I don't really think that's happening, right? I don't think they're killing him. Okay, well, they got all the CS and they're backing off. Drag in 50 seconds. If Gam can secure head out for this drag, that would be a win. That would actually just be straight up a win. Uh, you know, feel like he, he needs a certain power spike that he's waiting for to actually complete, you know, at least a, a major component. Uh, Inspired did just go back to base. He's already on two items now. Of course, they are cheap ones on the Ivern, but that's part of the advantage of this champ. Like, he's already on Moonstone plus True. Redemption. That's full build for Ivern. Yeah, that's that went up. <laughs> went up. Yeah, I feel like yeah, Ivern is really, well. uh, really strong for this fight. Gets value and the amount of gold he has is insane right now. Two support items, Redemption Moonstone. Bipo, I think, is building Stara again. I feel like this fight is, there's just nothing to be done here, really. I mean, how do you, how do you team fight against the FlyQuest right now? How do you, how do you have enough damage? Harold might be start off the corner of that uh, spot from Levi on the it's top side. be a side. trade, looks like. But he needs to do a quick smart because uh, another 30 or 40 seconds <laughs> is going to spawn. <laughs> wait, people? People? Wait, 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 wait. He can kill him. He can kill Oh, if that knocks up, I think it's a kill. Properly. And he just sends him away. He won't pop anything while Fly deny the dragon stack. And looks like Levi people is still playing through. slightly I mean, careful here. Like as emo, what are you supposed to do? Yeah. Cyan walks at you. Are you going to E into him? Like, I think they can st start stacking all the drakes now as Flyquest, you know? really. It, it gets very, very difficult. They just have no at least Gam get a head out, but to, I mean... Like, think of a comp that's worse at killing tanks True. than what Gam have drafted. Of course, their goal is not to kill the tanks. It's to go past the tanks and just be able to kill off One the kill carries, Yeah, this, uh, this game is very, 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 very slow. You know, with some of these defensive items, you this is literally one of the slowest games. And I think Masu's probably going to have a, a second item nearly done by the time he goes back. He's going to be working towards uh, that Rage Blade very likely here. And um, they're going to be sitting in a really good spot. But I have to say, I mean, I've seen... 20 minutes, two kills. You know, One kill per finals, 10 minutes. Looking back in, in the series versus uh, 100 Thieves as well. This feels like a very patient fly quest. It, it feels is, like yeah. a very... Tell me the guys that have the stone because I think... I thought fly quests are going to keep accelerating this game. Which I thought they could have. But fly quests chose to just play hard farming. Which is weird because I think Kalista, Leon and Ivan are forced fight on cooldown literally. But I guess their wing clone is just scaling with Sion. So I feel like they are kind of trolling. I'm going to be honest. I think they have tried to force more fights than they did. Uh, they're gonna be happy to just play okay, slow. okay, this is a really good fight, though. This is a really good fight for FlyQuest. Oh, this is really, really good fight for FlyQuest. And they have no damage to kill Busho. Yeah, Elio is dead. Wait, did he not dead? I feel like they could just start Nash. That's how hard this game is. When yeah, Kalisa gets two really, items, really which is you basically know, again, in base. It's one of those situations where you're saying, well, why are you caging on Leona? Because Leona was the only one showing, and they haven't found anything, right? So you're getting frustrated. You're feeling the game is slipping away. Yeah. And it's it's one of those situations where we've all been in these games. They're play playing league, so scared. FlyQuest? Like no, FlyQuest, I think FlyQuest just knows that they happened, outscale like so hard. The they have, so there is no reason to take any risk. And for Gam, they just can't do anything. They have no damage. They need one more item on Jin. One more item. Either LDR or Infinity Edge. Probably Mortal Reminder. Like I mean, not, uh, like not LDR. Probably Mortal Reminder. When they get Mortal Reminder on Jin, then hopefully they can do enough damage to kill Sion. Hopefully. If Levy was really fed this game, he should go Serpent Fang, but I don't think he's gonna get fed enough for that. I took it away. I didn't use Woolworths. I didn't use Coles, which is what we got back home. I didn't use Reva. You know what we do in LA for taco night? We go out and get some street tacos. Oh, much better. They well, are the, so the good. Street there. tacos, that sounds good. Van. So what do they okay. do? What do they do? I guess, wait, well, if you don't have a van, how are you going to Walmart? That's right. How are you going to Walmart? <laughs> we come back to the setup point, and then we question, what are Gam going to do with this game? Where will they get their cheese? If you don't follow the reference, <laughs> then let's go back to okay, the Okay, I think was ab are about <laughs> to force mid tower. I think, I think they'll force the tower, guys. I think this is the time. They are five mid. I think they are going to be hard forcing the tower for sure. 
as they move in are getting forced off. The wait, wait, they're actually going in. They ulted. Wait, 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 this this is looking like oh my god, this is looking like a great fight. This is looking like a great fight, guys. This is looking like a great fight. No one dies. No one dies, guys. Not a single person dies. Damn. That looked good. That actually looked like a good fight. Vi got ult on the backline. Poppy ults Oriana away. It's, it's 5v4. But Masu and Inspire just don't die. And if these two don't die, no one else dies. Because everyone is way too tanky. And that's it, guys. I mean, Beepo is never gonna die this game. They have, like, no comp to kill Beepo. They have, like, like beyond no damage to kill him. Steps away from bringing the first win of the Swiss I think FlyQuest can now start to speed this game up. I think they can keep doing what they just did. With, Red Bull Baron Pal play. Yeah, with Nash, it should be easier. Really, really strong. The Sterix is complete for Bupo, so two items across the board. Look at this fight. Here, as we can watch this one more time. So it actually is played yeah, well by uh, say, right, Gam. Because, pushing, look, Vi ult inspired tower, and Poppy so ult Oriana, so it looks good. It. The but then there's like no follow up CC. Siren gets insane ult, by the way. I think people low key carried this fight, by the way. People got such a good ult here on Siren. People had such a such a good ult on Siren there the same time good oh. patience on his summoners he did not panic when he was getting low there played it out really well and you can see the intensity on their faces uh yeah the game is going <laughs> well but wait know it is how come there are no bounties over, yet and the coaching staff looking pretty stressed there i'm not yeah. gonna lie the no bounties after being so behind. Okay. I mean, that Gam is trying to trade some towers well with no bounties, but that's actually a good himself. play. The sign is obviously not gonna die, right? They can they can hit him until tomorrow. He's not gonna die. He has Sterek as well. Bro, like he's just not dying. He just is. Oh my God, he's so tanky. Uh, that it kind of gets a little bit crazy. I mean, he's getting 61 bonus AD wow. from from the Sterics alone. Like that is. Right, right. And now he got a mountain solo on top. Thoughts about Overlord's blood. Wait, let's talk about that in a second. Levy used that point blank range. Levi in trouble as they keep trying to dive this. Harry almost dies. One hit away. Okay. That play from. But that is a buy without uh, without HP now. They have to run. We are talking about fly in the Baron play. For now, things are stabilized as Flyquest. One thing I'm shocked about, why is Flyquest yeah, not hard forcing I mean, it's, it's bot? It's why is Fly not just going for bot in here? Yeah, when literally you are 2v4. Or rather 4v3, 4v3. Vyko's playing Yankos, guys, come on. Come on, guys, my Vy is kind of cool. Why has people building all of the Zamana? top side of the map from Gam, so Fly's just gonna keep playing it out slow and steady, they've gotten their second Good question. dragon they can work towards but the sign has 4,000 health, so I think wait, why is Jin going like collector, guys? No, he's going Serpent's Funk. Jin is going Serpent's Funk, not Collector. Okay, okay, okay. I was thinking Jin was going Collector, but he's actually going Serpent's Funk. <laughs> Uh, that, that's that's fine. Well, well, Quest, I mean, I, I don't know, dude. It's lost, but. <laughs> no need to get too over -complicated oh here. my God, man! Flyquest is making killed. me sleep. That is so happen. boring. Is, Please, can they just can they just go mid and um, five v so five so they can they're end the game? The enemy jungle, like they're, they're so ahead, they can just go mid and five v five. Inspire just needs to make sure that he's not getting one shot at the start of the fight, and he can just support these teams. Has the dawn core done now as well, so he gets even more support of here. The shields are getting larger and larger, and. This TP uh, is gonna come in, but is it in time? It is in time only. Josh Bro, Bipo is Bipo is no take, not taking around. damage. Bipo is trying to start the whole time and he's not taking Bipo damage. It's insane. Nice I mean, Pop, Pop, Pop is pretty much dead. I, th I think it's kind of GG, you know. Okay, 1-7, okay. guys. 1-7. Yeah, FlyQuest starting off Worlds with a bang here. Looking incredibly strong here against Gam. Gave him no chance. It felt like start to finish. Great draft, patient play, and they're looking to clean it up. I mean, honestly, clean. Honestly, guys, FlyQuest, the cleanest looking team today. I don't think, as much as that was really boring, 
I that was clean. That was slow, methodical, and clean. Okay. The only death here on